Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 31 on ABAP. This is a continuation of the previous one. Um, the topic is module pool. So second topic we are looking into in ABAP. The first one ABAP reports and the second one is module pool programming. So uh, we are going to uh, continue the same program whatever we have created in the previous uh, video. And uh, in this session I am going to explain some components of the screens, how to make uh, a particular input box as a required, how to keep an icon in a particular uh, button and then and we don't have any uh, separate component for list box. So how to create a normal input output field as a list box and uh, what is the use of chain and end chain process and then we have an option called at exit command. Uh, so we are going to see at which scenario we need at exit command in our screen and then multiple screens I'm going to create two or three screens and we'll see the communication between each uh, screens all the screens coming under the same program whatever program we created same program we are going to have multiple screens and the data transfer we are going to use a work area so far we have used only a variable as a data uh, medium between your screen and the program and now we are going to use a work area also so multiple more than one field value I'm going to keep it uh, I'm going to transfer from SE38 to SE51 so these are the uh, topics which I'm going to cover in this video let's get into the system so uh, this is my system this is a previous program let me start from here so this is a program which uh, I created in the previous video and it has all the options and mo mostly once you start working with a program which needs more than one transaction uh, help better you change your layout of your ABAP editor either you can open it in SE80 transaction or you can open it in SE38 and you can use the option called object list display object list if you click display object list you will get a hierarchy or the tree structure and under the program what are the things you have i have a screen if you expand it it will show you what what is the screen number and i have a vbo module pi module and i have a transaction so this is the if you double click the screen number it will take you to se 51 if you double click the transaction it will take you to se 93 okay so this is a very easiest way to work if you have multiple transactions involved in your program okay otherwise normal uh, structure is enough if you open se80 by default you will get this layout in se80 in se38 you have to use this display object list button okay so let me go to screen first just double click this is se51 and go to layout this is the layout which we have used in the last uh, session and uh, I'm going to make this material field as a mandatory so just double click whenever you are not able to find any properties in the by uh, once again default window just double click the component you will get the properties window for the particular component okay so here uh, you can see material text drop down and everything and, and here you have group so a lot of things like modify ID we can use this group and is it an input field if you take out this it consider this is not an input field only just an output field kind of okay so input is not possible if you select the option is here input is possible here I, ho I have an option called required I just change this to required okay and you have a display option so how you want invisible 2d display very simple this is not a UI application it's just an SAP screen so you have a very limited options for your uh, input uh, component and you have a set parameter get parameter just let's see what is this and case sensitive so if you want a case sensitive whatever you enter it automatically it keep as it is otherwise it by default if you enter the values press enter it will change to uh, capital letter by default okay so these are the options available so I just used only required out of this and close it and for a button uh, I, I feel I can have uh, some icons over the button maybe for that you have used this option over here uh, choose icon just click and these are some standard SAP icons over here you can search also so get uh, icon list icon table settings okay I'll choose this option you can choose anything maybe a little bit relevant or depends on your need you can select it uh, just select it it will come 
over the button so element overlapped or board okay uh, one second it needs some space i believe let's see so instead of length 15 let me go with 20 then try to keep the same icon this one okay continue yes there's a space constraint okay so you can have an icon over your button and uh, some not most color changes few colors you not few at least a, one color you're able to see you can say bright and just close it it will come little uh, in a yellow sorry a blue color uh, mostly in my experience um, user is not very keen about this kind of a cosmetic change so they need the functionality to be worked because they worked with lot lot more years with the same kind of sap screen so they are very very good enough in that okay so let me go to flow logic so nothing much change here uh, if you go to the property you might see the required options and everything in the element list okay let's activate this and go to the transaction and execute f8 so here you can see a star mark the red color star denotes this is mandatory option um, probably uh, depends on your um, gui version you might have this otherwise by default if you use a little older version you'll get a tick mark inside your uh, input output box okay uh, the newer versions you'll get the red color star and here you can see file download is in blue color and if i and this is the icon this is also a little bit new because the version which i'm using is a 7.7 so depends on your gui version this also gets changed and if you click get data it will give an information or error message fill out all required entry fields so you don't want you don't worry about uh, about the validation for the required field this automatically taken care from the system so you have to enter one, two, three, and then just click get data. So currently there is no functionality for this button. So it's okay. And click exit, just go out of it. Okay. Even, even the exit also works once you enter the values, once you fill all the required fill. This is not the way it works. I, I will tell you how we can manage this. So currently you have to enter the values and click exit. Okay. So now I'm going to create one more screen. So right click here, just click create under the same program under the same program i'm going to create one more screen so 200 next so this is for okay i can say next screen components okay and go to layout and uh, i have a box just for the reference so this is going to be And here you don't have any list box. There's no component for list box, separate component. So you have to select the text box and convert this as a list box. So before going to that, I'll just give a um, values for the parameter uh, properties. So just a name and double click, get the property window. There is an option called drop down and select whether it's you want a list box or list box with the key. So if you see my previous to previous video, how to fill the list box values, we used VRM concept. So here, there we have used uh, the key concept of, for the list box. So list box has a structure of key and text, right? So if you want to display the value only list box, the text value, or you want to display as a list box with the key, you have to choose the second option. So if you feel anyway, the user doesn't want to see the key, key especially for the programmers. So I'll go with the option called list box. So if you select list box, you can see the drop down option here. Now uh, you know how to fill the data. The data to be filled using PBO concept using the same VRM also you can use it. Okay, uh, I can say material types. Sorry. Material types. Okay, and this is list box frame text one, so T1. Okay. Um, so use the same VRM concept in the PBO as well. 
and next one is chain and in chain okay let me have few input boxes like this okay and so you can play around once you're good with the layout and all you can do it so system will take care so it won't give any syntax like you have to fill then only go to the next one no uh, so you're not filling so by default it take ash in the text so here i can say material and this is text two and this one is plant this is text three and the next one is storage location text four okay and uh, give the proper name uh, here material so input I think I have already given so I'll give uh, I underscore M A T N R and this is I underscore plant and here this is I underscore storage location so even um, you have a different screen but the program is only one so if you have one variable declared or one screen component name is used in screen number 100 please don't use it in screen 200 if suppose both the screens the functionality is same suppose i used a material it's same in everywhere then it's fine not an issue okay so the same value is going to be transferred in screen 100 screen 200 you can have the same uh, component name in two different screens okay but if the functionality is totally different better you go with the different names so now um, material So plant is going to be only four storage location also four okay and I'm going to I'm going to explain chain and end chain concept so here I'm going to keep material as mandatory and plant also mandatory so it shows a question mark for your identification these fields are mandatory okay then let's have a um, button called save pb1 and okay still it's in pink color so one of the mandatory parameter is function code so save or if ct save so you can do the same and here it's exit pb2 exit okay now this is screen number 200 by default my program calls only 100 this screen is not at called anywhere right so let me call this screen from two from 100 so i need status 200 okay let me enable this and one part is missing that is number ok code variable because i have a button so some buttons are clicked then i need to write some code so let me declare ok code 200 in screen 100 we have declared the ok type as ok code 100 here it's ok code 200 simple okay so now go to normal screen whenever the user click get data or okay let me have one more button just to call the screen here 200 call screen 200 this is pb3 and the function code is uh, fct screen 200 yes 200 okay any any name you can give so then go to flow logic then I need to write a code, right? So just double click the PAI because it's going to be happening in process after input. So I have one more button. That button function code is else if OK code of 100 is equal to FCT screen 200. 
if that is the case call screen 200 so this is a syntax to call a normal screen in a web program so call screen 200 if you remember we used a concept called call selection screen and screen number we used right so call uh, screen that is a number we use the same we call selection screen screen number starting at ending at so here we use just call screen screen number okay and uh, i don't have any coding in my 200 screen related to 200 screen because i need some coding right so just do this one just double click this is not created if you want to create yes i want to create where you want to create whether it's the normal program or include program so far we use a normal program only so it means the master program only there is no include program we have used i'm going to use the same thing so here first i have to declare the ok code variable and the condition is there are two buttons uh, save and exit i'll go with exit first make sure your function code is always in capital letter Otherwise, it won't give any syntax error. It won't work as expected also. Okay, almost done. So what I have done so far is I created a new screen with few input boxes and one list box. And out of that input boxes, uh, two input boxes are mandatory. And in 200 screen, I have two buttons, save and exit. Okay. And then I call the 200 screen from the screen 100. I created one more button call screen 200 and I assign a function code for it and uh, I just changed the PAI module of 100 for the OK code FCT S200. Yes, if it is uh, if the button is clicked then this uh, statement will execute call screen 200 it calls screen 200 OK. So now if you go to the transaction there is no change in the transaction still the initial screen is 100 only. Because 200 is not the default screen, it needs to be called whenever the button is clicked. So press F8 and if I click call screen 200, okay, there is a required field. So 1, 2, 3 and then call screen 200. Now the screen 200 arrives. There is no data because list box is empty. We need to write a code for it and material and plant is mandatory. Here, if I click save without entering value to the required fields, either save or exit, whatever it is, or enter any event triggered, if there is no value in the mandatory field, you will get a standard message fill out all required entry fields. So, if I fill out this and click 4000, if I click save, nothing is happening because I don't have any code on it. And if I click exit, this come out of it. Okay, so the idea is if there is any mandatory values before any event triggered that field to be filled. For example, if I click call screen, it gives an essay message, fill out all required fields. So one, two, three, then click call screen. So this is valid for few functionalities like save, go to next screen. We need some values, go to the next screen or click save. But if you want to come out of the screen in the middle of the process or even the initial um, screen itself the user decided okay i want to come out of the screen so they have to click exit even that also it will give an error so like enter the values for the required fields so this is not a correct scenario if you have a 10 field mandatory fields so user is not allowed to uh, come out of the screen until they fill all the required values so that is not the correct or proper design so for that we are going to introduce a concept called at exit command okay normally i thought i'll go with the chain and end chain okay i will complete the at exit command first then i'll come to the chain and end chain concept okay so the idea is we need to give some exception for some buttons and uh, like even if you're not entering the values to the uh, um, required fields allow the button to be executed it may be exit or anything but most of the business scenario is come out of the screen like exit only so like not for the save because without any values i want to save it do, it won't make any sense so mostly we'll do this at exit command for exit buttons only okay so here the idea is even though without entering the values in mandatory fields i want to come out of the screen so that is the proper business scenario so how we can do that for that first go to your screen okay the first change would be uh, keep in a change mode and go to the exit 
the function code whatever you create for the exit it needs have some type okay so the type is exit command e is the type exit command this is the first change you have to do okay so the idea is without entering any mandatory values i want to come out of the screen so for that first step change not change add the additional uh, information to your exit function code is exit command okay at exit command so first step close it second step you need to have an additional module okay so don't combine both because this user command has a code of save and exit right so i'm going to separate the at exit command in a different module all other process in the another uh, module so you can have n number of modules so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use module uh, exits of 200 okay and there is an additional command called at exit command so this is the second step create a module with the help of at exit command first first step uh, assign a type for your function code which button you want to just come out of it without considering the mandatory fields and second step create a module with the help of additional uh, keywords options called at exit command okay rest is same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the code over here so command if you want to create this module yeah this is a new module it needs to be defined in my uh, se38 so this is the previous one right i'm going to just copy this or okay, cut it and keep it in my exit 200 so this is a normal user command if you click save or go uh, back or validation whatever but other buttons codes are coming under user command 200 only the exit code is coming under exit underscore 200 and the input is the keyword in sa theory to recognize this is coming under pai let's see now how it works let me activate it from the beginning that is always best okay just activate it then go to the code what is the transaction code zji underscore scr so slash in now here i didn't do any exit command so that you, they have to enter the values and click call screen and if you click save it gives an error because this is not considering as a at exit command if i click exit it just goes out okay so it, it's not going to consider any mandatory values that is the use of at exit command okay so next continuation of the same what i'm going to do was i'm going to do some validations before if i click save i want to do some validations so what i'm going to do was uh, let me have this only the declaration part over here so this will take to the other module so no issues okay if ok code 200 equal to save i believe this is the function code we'll cross it a little later save okay then i'm going to enter the validate the material mm. okay those needs to be declared material is not equal to one two three Material will go with the plant. If plant is not equal to thousand, and I'm going to pass a message. We didn't see message class properly, so let's it's fine. Invalid, not invalid. So only plant thousand to be used, and this is going to be the type error okay so normal scenario if the plant is not thousand i'm going to pop up a message once the user clicks save button activate it what is the error i plant is not okay i didn't declare it okay data i underscore plant type works okay done because the screen component that is not declared in se38 that is the error always do the activate from the top now go to your transaction material one two three call screen 200 
So I'm giving values like one, two, three, four, and the plant is 1200 and click save. And you'll get a message only plant 1000 to be used. It's correct, but the default behavior of any screen in SAP is if any error happens, it tried to disable all the input uh, component, input components, not the buttons. The button still it's open, okay? But it opened all the input component, it just make it as a disable mode. So this is the concept or default behavior of SAP screens. So to overcome this, we are going to introduce the concept called chain and end chain. So the chain and end chain, um, the block, it's a kind of a block. This will decide which input fields are ready for the input, even though if any error happens. So out of four, if you want all the four to be enabled, even though if error, any error happens, or you decided, okay, only material and plant is required for my scenario. So if any error happens, let all others go to the display mode. I'm good. Only material and plant to be enabled. So depends on your scenario. You can choose which are the fields, either all the fields or very specific fields. Okay. Let's see. Let's exit. Exit works because exit and at exit command, it works. Now I'm going to introduce a chain and in chain process in uh, SE51 level. So that is very important. Uh, here I'm going to use chain and in chain as a block chain in chain okay and inside field so more than one field use a chain operator uh, i want what is that one M i underscore mat now and i underscore plant only two i feel um, it to be enabled for the input okay even though if any error message happens is only for the error message then for this i need a module everything is a module over here okay so module um, data validation okay so now whatever uh, code we have done to validate your plant that i'm going to keep it in my data validation module okay not in the user command so double click this also needs to be created in ac38 same program okay so here better i copy paste okay code this one yeah. and, uh, yes one uh things if you noticed uh the i plant okay code are not declared in the module and it means the module one for example user command 200 but it's used in another module it won't consider this is a local so that is the uh, beauty in module so module if you declared over here this can be achieved or accessed in other modules as well so it's not a local variable only for this module okay so that's it activate let's see how it behaves if any error happens okay because we introduced chain and engine concept activate from the top go to the transaction Three call screen two hundred. Let's see one two three four and this is thousand two hundred and click click save. So but it's see only plan thousand to be used. So still material and plant is open. Material values are uh, vanished. I will tell you why it is vanished. So material and plant is enabled and material type and storage location disabled because this is not coming under chain and end chain process. So this is the use of chain and end chain. Okay. And you can see one, two, three, whatever it is, and then click save. Okay. Okay. I need to say correct plant thousand and click save. So no errors happens, but uh, it there is no coding also. Uh, so far we return in the save button. Okay. This is for chain and end chain process and multiple screens be used exit command and work area okay before work area one small uh, information and uh, that is very useful for the beginners especially in the screen or model pool programming why the values are not captured in the component simple answer is the component is fine but the same component is not declared as a variable in sc38 that is the reason okay 
so here suppose i'm going to declare the material material is not uh, holding the values right the material field because it's not declared in se38 so let's see and i declared now i underscore material because i declare only i plant so this one right so here 100 zero zero, so whatever it is and 1200 press enter or save so it gives one deep plan now the values still hold in the material field so it's very simple whenever the values are vanished um, very simple the particular component is not declared in se38 program exit and then work area so here let me go to my screen let's enlarge this so there is an option called dictionary okay in sc51 there is an option called dictionary now i'm going to use that option to design my screen so this screen i have designed with the help of means manually i designed manually in the sense one by one i designed so now what i'm going to do is i need some fields from ekko table or i need some field from some other table so instead of doing one by one i can go ahead and select the fields from the table structure then i'm going to design it so if it is 15 fields random field from a table i can select it randomly with the help of the dictionary instead of 15 time 15 fields manually i create all the text box all the um, input output box so everything that will take care okay so that is the use of dictionary the shortcut for dictionary is f6 and uh, the option is go to secondary window dictionary or program fields another advantage is uh, you can uh, get the program fields also suppose program you have some screen fields you declared or you declare some variables i want to design my screen based on the program it's actually vice versa we designed everything and declared it in a program uh, we can do like this you did, uh, create all the variables whatever you want then from that variable you can design your screen so that is also possible with the help of dictionary or program field so go to secondary window dictionary and here you have option called get from program so now first i'll go over get from dictionary ekko take the star yeah ekko enter or just click get from dictionary it will give all the information now you recollect how you design the table okay in a table there is an option called field label you remember short medium long heading that is actually using in the screen painter i'm not sure whether i uh, mentioned over there while creating that field label is using in the screen painter concept or screen designing concept is going to be used here so whatever uh, text you want for the field because if you select ekkva abln it creates two components one is text box another one is input output field so for the text box what kind of text you want you want none you can create your own or you want short you want medium or you want long or header mostly you will you'll get more, all the fields has the same value so you can you can select you can see the difference here so none it won't give anything for you if you say short purchase doc medium purchasing doc and if you say long purchasing doc doc com c u m okay so let's go one by one I want purchasing doc for this field plant I will go with my own sorry company code and type let it be document category and this is also document type and I need a lifner and term. okay and click ok what happens is if you click ok all the selections whatever you selected that comes to your mouse so it won't keep it as it is it comes to your mouse pointer then you can keep wherever you want in your screen position okay and in your screen just click continue like this so if you move the mouse it will just come and if you want to place wherever you can keep it i want to keep it here okay so then there is an option if there is any field with character one it consider that is a flag so do you want to consider that as a checkbox or a radio button or leave as it is okay for example uh, bsty is, is a, a type 
okay so what i'm is i'm saying don't do that and click ok okay so document category i want as a input output box only see the plant is not having the text because i selected none then you have to manually add it one text box and keep it here okay so these are additional work normally don't do it and it's overlap because it's the space so what i can do was better option is let me create it from there itself f6 AKKO, I want Ebelin, I want Bergs, BST type, BAS8. I, I, I'll go with maybe I can play around with these options, but I need a label from there only. I want a header. Okay, header is only C. I don't want that. Okay. And I need more than one character, one field. Okay, status and delete indicator, Lifner and terms. Enter over here. So now what I'm going to do is, I want BSTYP as do not transform, I want as an input box, okay. But I want LOKE as a checkbox, it's a delete indicator, right. So I'll go with checkbox, okay. And status, I want do not transform, continue. Okay, so you see delete indicator is with checkbox, other two are with input output boxes only, okay. So have a box. details and remember this is um, what do you call the work area so it can hold only one record at a time so design phase is over and you can see what is the name ekkvo by default okay all the things ekkvo iphone field name ekkvo iphone box ekkvo iphone bstyp so same thing ekkvo lifner even the delete indicator also the same thing Okay, the table name, iPhone field name. So go to flow logic. So we are done with SE51. So nothing more here. Back to it. Activate SE51. I'm activating only SE51. Then go to user command 200. No, okay, status I'll go. Because before pop up, I want to display the values. It's not uh, created so far. Do you want to create? Yes, I want to create. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a work area. Uh, you know how to create a work area? So like, it's not like data, EKKO type, EKKO, that won't work. So for this, the proper work area is tables. Okay, so if you, if you doesn't want this EKKO, what you have to do is, you have to create a work area first in the program, WE underscore EKKO, then you can use it in your design. Okay, either way. And uh, here, EKK words very, very rare we are using single. Normally, we use the entire internal table in the screen. It's nothing but a table control. We'll see quite later. But uh, you have to know this also there is an option through uh, work area. You can fill your in, um, screen components. So select single star from EKKO. Okay, that's it. Into EKK is not required. You know about it, right? So by default, it will take act order activate from the top done go to transaction one two three call screen 200 so it's filled with the data okay so PO number company code category document type and vendor everything is filled over here okay so this is a way which is using for your work area concept. So like data transfer is, a, you can use the work area also a yeah, data transfer medium between your program and your screen painter. Got it. That's it. So if you have any doubt, please let me know. Okay, I think I kept it here. That's why it comes here. In the little up, yeah. play around with this. You lot of options available in Screen Painter, okay? Because you see, the entire SAP is designed with Screen Painter. Most of the screens, if you open, 
everything is designed in screen painter only so a lot of options available just play around but make sure you are understanding the properties and components very well then you can start working with some complex scenarios it comes here okay otherwise if you're not getting the output it's very difficult to move on to the next level so always go with the basic and create uh, like four to five screens and play around with just pass the information between one screen to another screen keep some exit use chain and end chain option and uh, at exit command uh, so far we have done with that okay just go through it and maybe in the next videos i will come with menu painters and other components how we can use it in the uh, module programming hopefully it will take three to four videos to complete the entire module program let's see how it goes thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye